Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dragon Quest VIII. So I'm here in the casino, and that is because I grinded four tokens, and I got a bunch of money, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner, uh, as well as a bunch of tokens. I'm actually going to turn in... Uh, well, I'm going to redeem some of the prizes here in a second. Uh, so I have over 500,000 tokens. What I did was is I went to the Pick'em Casino, and I got a bunch of the magic waters there with the tokens that I got here. And then I sold those magic waters for gold. Uh, now I have a bunch of prayer rings as well, so... Uh, 20 of them. And I got some Saint Ashes because I'm going to need that for mixing some stuff. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these Falcon Blades uh, for Angelo. Um, yep, there's other prizes I'm interested in. Uh, I'm gonna get four of these liquid metal armors for, uh, the four characters. And then the last thing I'm gonna get before I, uh, leave is the Grangham Whip. Now, as you can see, that gives Jessica a really big boost to her attack power. And, uh... As I understand it, is the best whip in the whole game. Uh, no, I'm not interested in getting anything else. That basically burnt through almost all... You know, it basically burnt through 400,000 tokens right there. So let's uh, go ahead and equip my characters now. Um, that's a pretty big increase to his defense. I'm sure it'll be a big increase to all of their defenses. Yeah, so far it's a pretty big increase. And then uh, after I do this, I'm going to go into the uh, alchemy pot. And... Wait a second. He didn't need that, did he? Or... Wait, he did. Okay, never mind. I'm crazy. I thought he already had one. I was like, wait a second. Uh... Now, before I equip this to her, look at what it says. Capable of hitting all enemies in a single lash. So, this whip is basically better uh, in every way compared to uh, the whip she used to have, which would only hit enemies by groups instead of all of them. So it's like the boomerang, but it's far more powerful. And... You know, I got it now at this point in the game, which is a pretty big deal. That's going to help a lot. Now I'm going to give this uh, sword to him. Uh, I'm not going to replace the Dream Blade since it has an effect on it. But uh, I will have this on him for like fights where I'm fighting against a single enemy. And the reason why is because, as you can see, the description it says, A sword capable of slicing twice in rapid succession, faster than a falcon in flight. So it can attack twice uh, with its normal attack. Now I don't know how useful that's going to be overall, uh, but I'm assuming it'll be useful for at least some boss fights. Uh, aside from that, I'm going to go ahead into the alchemy pot now, and I'm going to mix a spear for hero. Got another piece of mild cheese. It's good to get as many of those. I also, if you've noticed, got uh, 99 holy waters, 99 magic waters, 100 medicinal herbs. So I spent some uh, of the gold that I got from uh, selling the magic waters. Uh, where is... There we go, a partisan spear. And now I gotta find the saint ashes. There we go. So I'll be getting a new spear for a uh, hero as well, on top of everything else. Like I said, getting the casino open uh, definitely will help towards progress in the game. I'm also going to go ahead on to Arcadia now and visit the armor and weapon shop there because... Uh, there we go. 
because there are some items that I can buy there now. Now, of course, I've got to go north of Arcadia anyways. So, no matter what, I had to go there. And, uh, oh, there's something else I wanted to point out, too, before I enter Arcadia. So, I completely forgot about the effect of Chiran's bow, or however you say that. Uh, when used as an item in battle, this bow restores 30 HP or more to all allies. I forgot about that. And I shouldn't have forgotten about it, but... You know, I... I, I think it was because I'd gotten it... Uh, I'd gotten it during a recording where I was, uh... Sick, or whatever, and because I was sick at the time... It, uh, really messed me up. Like, you know, I wasn't able to remember certain details, and that was one of the details I wasn't able to remember. So, uh, let's go to the weapon shop first. Because I seem to recall... Oh, the weapon and armor shop are connected. Forgot about that. I seem to recall that there is a boomerang here that Hero can get. So... I'm gonna get this boomerang for Hero. Put that in the uh, bag for now. Uh, Hero doesn't need the sword. I could get it, but I'm not going to. And Yangus is gonna actually get a better axe possibly soon, because I think I can mix one for him. But I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, I don't want to spend too much of the money I got, because even though it seems like a whole lot, it can go pretty fast, if I'm not careful. So, finally replacing that reinforced boomerang that I got ages ago with a proper new bow, the Swallowtail. Uh, Jessica's attack power is at 194 versus Hero's 160, so she's a bit ahead of him. Uh, Yangus could be up to 170 himself, and then Angelo is way behind at 134, unfortunately. Uh, now let's check out the armor shop very fast. Uh, I don't need the magic armor. I could use some of the magic shields, though. I'll probably have to grind for some more money again uh, after this, but it's not a big deal. It's just nice to finally have my characters properly equipped after so long. Like, having enemies constantly destroying my characters, you know, knocking them out and stuff, hasn't been fun. Place that slime crown. I gotta make a check to make sure that it doesn't have okay. It doesn't have any kind of special abilities on it, so. The Mercury Bandana increases the wearer's agility. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that on him. I kinda wish I hadn't bought that iron mask. Uh reduces damage from spells by 15 points. May as well, uh have that equipped on him, and him as well. Uh, yeah, that's that's worth it. I, I was about to say that I wasn't sure if it was worth uh, equipping that steel shield on uh, Hero, but no, not steel shield, magic shield. Okay, now it's time to make my way. Uh, north of Arcadia. And, uh, one of the things I said I was gonna possibly do was go to the Monster Arena, but I'm gonna hold off on that just a little bit longer. Uh, but there are some prizes there. Like, if I can, uh, start working towards completing it, there are some prizes there that will definitely help. Like, you can get one of the best, not the best, but one of the best spears in the game from there. And I may as well fight this guy very fast. Let's see what Jessica's new whip will do. Whip will do. Ah, 
<laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, that that could really. Okay. So she does do the most damage out of everybody. This guy is actually doing a fair bit of damage. May as well add him to my team since I still have slots open, I think. Um, let's heal Jessica very fast because that was kind of crazy that that happened. Now, I've already been in this area up to uh, the point where I visited Rhydon's Tower, so I'm not going to really look around for uh, anything in particular as I make my way over there. I don't... I might... Nah, I'm not going to stop at the, uh, the little inn that they have along the way. Unless I take a ton of damage or something. Um... You know what? I'll still take these fights somewhat seriously. Since there's no guarantee that Jessica will be able to do that much damage, yeah. Oh, between the two of them, they were able to knock him out. Maybe I didn't even have to use anything special with Yangus. Might have been able to use the Magma Staff. I think he has a Magma Staff, but we're not equipped, but in his inventory. I'll check right now. Yeah, he does. I'm gonna give that uh, to him like that. There we go. And then that way he can use it whenever he wants to. bit faster. Now, I don't know if I ever search behind the little thing here. Better make sure there's nothing back here. Ooh. Quite a few of them. Uh, I think that this time I'll stick to that. We'll see in a second. Well, I guess only a couple of them are gonna go down. Okay, three of them did. <laughs> That's funny. I think that it'll be fine now. now. Yeah. So using thin air with uh, Yangus is still a good idea overall. Uh, okay. okay. Let's go ahead. Now this area I'm going to start being a little bit more thorough because I haven't really uh, I haven't really searched everything over here yet. Ooh. Columns, huh? Uh, yeah, let's do it like that. Hmm. These guys are gonna have a lot of HP compared to, uh, yeah, compared to most enemies. I'm surprised one of them even went down. But at least it didn't attack, which is always good for me. Okay, make sure that there... Oh! Look at that! There's a treasure chest down there. Uh, let's search up here very fast, and then I'll go back down there. Since I'm sure that this will loop back around. Yeah, dead end right there. I go up on this little hill to the left very fast. And... Ah. As much as I like fighting, at the same time I'm starting to get worn out by it. I mean, come on. 
I think that Genghis is going to get rid of the Orc. Yeah. And then Hero might get rid of the Golem. Wait, did Hero already attack? I think Hero already attacked. Okay. Well, if they keep doing that, then I'm not going to be afraid of them at all. Although I really have no reason to be afraid of them. Period. At this point. They're not exactly, uh posing a threat to me. Even if they attacked, I doubt that they pose a threat with my increased defense. Okay, let's go back this way very fast. Or that treasure chest. Oh. Uh okay. Swingin' hipsters and Robo Robin. I I don't really like the hipsters. They're usually pretty uh, nasty enemies to fight. Ah, uh, great. Oh, well, that's not too bad. And I got an assassin's dagger, and I'll open up the map right here just to show where it was. Um, okay, time to go through this little cave over here, which I assume connects with the. Uh, oh, it looks pretty dark. Maybe it actually is a whole new area. It doesn't notice the party. I'm gonna equip the Falcon Blade just to see what it's like. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, let's keep doing that. Certainly better than, uh, you know, using the staff to attack. Okay, this is definitely a whole new area. I wasn't expecting that. Let's, uh, use the nose for treasure. Don't smell much in the way of treasure. Okay, that's not, uh, that's pretty cool. Dear goddess, I thought I'd had it. A huge dog just came bounding through here. It nearly sent me flying, I tell you. And it was no ordinary dog either. Oh no, its eyes were burning red. And it was armed. It had a bloody great stick in its mouth. Uh, let's talk to the party very fast. Oh wow, uh, Trode is with us. If Leopold really ran up ahead, we don't have any choice but to go after him. Still, it's hard to motivate yourself into the freezing cold. I should have put on more layers. It's absolutely for freezing again. This won't do my old arthritis any good at all. Oh, why am I made to suffer like this? Burr. People say there's snow all over the place once you come out of the end of this tunnel. I ain't never seen snow before. I'm pretty excited, actually. Woohoo! The Lord of Darkness seems to have some kind of power to sense where the descendants of the sages are. That's pretty cool. Why are you saying that's pretty cool? Uh, I wish I had something similar so I could locate pretty girls. Uh, sometimes Angelo just kind of stuns me a little bit. Uh, I want to make sure of something. The wagon is with us. Whatever. I won't, I won't question it anymore. So, they wanted to show us that right there. Yeah, it was a very short tunnel. Not long at all. Oh. It's almost too cold to bear. But if we don't retrieve the scepter, Medea and I may never return to normal. 
We'll just have to grin and bear it. Let's keep pushing on. At least moving might help us to warm up a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh, now I'm out in this area. Let's use the bell again. And I'll also check, uh, what the? There's no music in this area, that's weird. Um, I wanted to check the alchemy pot very fast to make sure. Do you want to give up halfway? No, of course not. Just wanted to make sure that... Oh, there's the music again. That was weird. I was starting to think that maybe there was something special that was going to happen in a second. Well, new enemies. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious this time. Uh, yeah, I'll use her normal attack. And his magma staff. I think the magma staff will work pretty well here. Or at least it should in theory. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, Angus, it's up to you. Oh boy. Uh, so these enemies are going to be a little bit tougher. And that's not good. At least that one didn't heal as well. Oh wait, I better use power throw again. Just keep that up. Eventually they'll go down. That uh, witch enemy on the left there is kind of dangerous. Yeah, I think. Thankfully, uh, ice cream. That's what it is. Because she had increased her tension all the way up to 50. Oh. Okay then. What, is there a cutscene or something? Or is this a whole new area? Okay, it's a cutscene. I shouldn't have to put up with being in a freezing place like this. It's all d d d Megas' fault. Well, but he's dead now. So I suppose it's that Leo What's-His-Name's fault. I don't know. A d d d dog of all things. Oh, boo. <laughs> oh, stop your whinging, Grandad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on, you know. Just get on with it. I beg your pardon? How uncalled for! I don't see why I shouldn't be able to say whatever I please. You've no right to talk to me like that. No right at all. I'm absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. I'm going on ahead. Uh, you're not leaving us, are you? Oh no. Uh, this isn't good. What's happening? Uh, I really have no idea what's going on. Okay, so we were saved by somebody with a giant dog. That dog's massive. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, here is all by himself. That's not good. Please tell me. Okay. It didn't remove the equipment for the other characters. If it had, then I would have been pretty upset. Um... 
I've played games where they'll do that, and every single time it happens, it just drives me nuts. Okay, I think that this is the way to go if you want to continue the story. No, that's the way to go if you want to continue the story. So I'm going to go over here first. Make sure there isn't any items hidden away back here. Just in case. Found a mini metal. Speaking of mini metals, I really should turn them in. Okay, oh, I was about to say, because there wasn't anything more down here, but there obviously is. Uh, okay then, let's find out. Can I open up the map? No. Let's talk to the dog here. Dog doesn't have much to say. Uh, there's a little old lady, I think, sitting there. Let's read these books very fast. It's a book entitled The Later Lives of the Sages. After the battle with the Lord of Darkness, one of the seven sages, the great and learned Kadan, headed back to his home in the snowy country. It is said that he spent his later years recounting and recording the tale of the great battle for the sake of his descendants. If any of the materials Kadan prepared could be recovered, they would represent a historical find of ep epic proportions. Okay. It's a book entitled, A Warm Coat is Good to Find. A red robe can be made by dyeing a sage's robe with a pigment made from a certain red grass and enchanted water. The finished crimson-colored robe will protect its wearer from even the fiercest of blizzards. Here discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. A red robe equals sage's robe plus enchanted water plus uh, red grass. Oh, well, I guess a uh, that dog there. over there is called Boris. He's the one who dug us out from the snow. Oh, cool. What a dog! He's a lot more used than a certain king, don't you think? And he smells a bit better too. Uh, oh. How dare you, boy? How could you say such a thing about your own master? I didn't mean to. I accidentally said yes. Honestly. Who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? Uh, I'm sorry, Trode. Uh, that was a mistake. That dog over there's- Oh. What a dog. He's a- Uh, no. There we go. I heard that, Angelo. More use than a certain king, you say? How dare you? Honestly. Who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? Okay, it doesn't change much of anything. It's kind of weird that, uh... That they give you the chance to repeat that, though. This tea is made from something called nook grass. It warms you up and makes you more resistant to the cold weather. It's a bit strong at first, but I could get to like it. Why don't you ask the old lady for some too, hero? When you all got caught in that avalanche, I hurried over to this hut for help. It was, I was in quite a panic, I must admit. My heart sank when I found out there was just an old lady living here on her own. But as luck would have it, the dog over there is a dab hand when it comes to pulling people out of the snow. Or should I say a dab paw? Anyway, he pulled you out, and we managed to get you back into the hut here. I suppose you could say he played a part in your rescue. But if I hadn't come here in the first place, you'd still be eating snow. I do hope you're grateful. Uh, yeah, sure. How you feeling, Gov? You alright? I was worried about you, like. You was the only one who wouldn't wake up. This place belongs to that old granny over there. Lives here on her own, you know? We're not far from where that avalanche happened. She says she can stay here till the, the, we can stay here until the snow clears up a bit. That's nice of her. Ah, you're awake. Uh, hmm, you have a nice color in your cheeks. It is a good sign. Dabro Paz... Uh, I can't say that. Welcome to my home. I am Marta. 
I live out here in the mountains where I grow herbs. This will be ready for you soon. Drinking it should warm you up nicely. Uh, okay. Oh. Please sit by the fire and warm your bones. I will bring you some of my nook grass tea. Okay then. Please drink. This nook grass tea will keep you warm even in the bitter cold of this snowy land. How terribly kind of you. First you save us from the avalanche, then you put us up for the night, and now you warm our innards. Now that's what I call hospitality. And what's really amazing is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. You loathsome lowlife! You of all people have no right to call me weird! It is true that his appearance is a little unusual. But when you get to my age, you learn not to judge a horse by its harness. And of course, I would help anyone who was in trouble so far from civilization. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why do you live all the way out here on your own? Of course I do not mind, dear. There is an old ruin behind my house. My ancestors have looked after it, generation after generation. It is a family duty. Uh, wait a second. Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna say anything just yet. But that will all end with me. I have no one to follow in my footsteps when my life is finished. Really? It must be pretty tough living on your own like this. Duty or no duty. It is comfortable enough. I have lived here since I was a child, so it is not a hardship. Besides, to live life is not to walk through a meadow. And from time to time, people get lost here in the mountains like you, so I am not lonely. And I always have Boris to keep me company. Ah. On the subject of dogs, we had something to ask you, Marta. This will sound a bit strange, but we're pursuing a big black dog, and we heard that he might have been headed in this direction. There's a good chance he may have come this way. Have you seen anything? Um, no. I am sorry. The only dog I know about is big old Boris over there. Sorry I cannot be of more help. You should ask where there is a lot of people. If you go down the mountain and go to the north, you will come to a town called Orkutsk. Maybe someone will know something there. Orkutsk, huh? Ah, that sounds like an excellent idea. Right then, chaps, there's no time to lose. Oh, yo, yo. If you are hasty, others will only be amused. That is an old saying here. One should not be so eager to go back out into the blizzard. The night is coming. Why don't you rest here? I am sure the blizzard will be gone by morning, so you can leave for Orkutsk then. Yes, yes. Wise words, my good woman. Very well, we shall rest here for the night. Okay, so... Hmm. I, I have a feeling that she might be a descendant of the sages. Of one of the sages, rather. Just based off of her description of their family guarding go north the, from the, the bottom of the mountain and you will come to Orkutsk please be careful on your journey <gasps> by George princess are you all right were you cold in the night 
Forgive me, but I must ask you a favor. If you meet with a man called Marek in Orkutsk, please give this to him. Oh. Here receives Marta's bag. He is probably working with herbs like I am. I would be grateful if you could give him that bag. Spashibo. Thank you. Okay, cool. Right then. Off to Okutsk. Totally bye. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to look for somebody called Merrick in uh, Arkutsk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it doesn't matter. Um, I want to see something very fast. I have to go back in there anyways, but... Okay, I can teleport there. Good. I'm going to use uh, notes for treasure very fast. Make sure there aren't any hidden treasures that I uh, didn't get. Actually, let me see something very fast, too. Marta's bag. A pouch prepared by Marta for the medicine man, Merrick. Okay. By the smell of it, there's only one treasure around here. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, check this out first. Probably in one of these barrels. Yep. Uh, I can't see really in this corner, but... Let's check out the inside. Look at those barrels right there. I guess they're just part of the uh, the scenery, the background. You see, can't really go into the snow there. Let's uh, use nose for treasure again, just to make sure. Okay. And let's talk to the dog very fast. Dog doesn't want to have anything to do with us. Let's find Marta very fast. Talk to her again one more time before I go. Um. Oh, there she is. Oh, you are back again. Did you get lost on your way to Orkutsk? No. Then perhaps you are just tired of walking in the mountains. You are not used to them after all. If you wish, you can rest in the room next door. There are always beds for you here. Okay, cool. Thank you. So if I wanted to, or needed to, I could go over here, examine the bed. Yeah. There's another place where you can sleep for free, uh, the Royal Hunting Ground or whatever. Not to mention, there's also the Mystical Spring, which I should visit. Uh, what I think I'm going to probably do is I'm going to visit there in a little bit, and then I'm going to actually, uh, quit. Because, um, you know, this video is already getting fairly long, and the last video was pretty long, too, so. Uh, well, actually, this video is almost about the same length as most of the videos are. Wow, this is really dark in this area. Okay, the door is locked. Wait, let me see if I can just see in there very fast. Huh. What is that? I'm kinda... Ah. Yeah, some kinda weird, uh, tablet in there with an inscription. Obviously, we're gonna have to see that eventually. Oh, what's this room? And why is it so dark? What's up with the cutscene? Is that the, uh... Oh, that's creepy. Dobro utra. Good morning. So you have found my herb garden. This cave is just the right temperature and humidity for them. And it is the only place I can grow my nook grass. Beyond those iron bars is the ruin I told you about. I usually keep it locked. It is a very special place, so I cannot allow visitors inside. Forgive me. 
Okay then. Go, blimey, Grandma. <laughs> uh, so, oh, cool. I finally got my new spear. And I'm gonna mix one more of those because I actually need it for something else. Your alchemy skills are improving, I see. So, let's go ahead and toss in one more. Where is it? There we are. And I'll get that spear to hero very fast. to the Swallowtail, it's not very, uh, good, but, wait, am I wrong about that? 67 points of attack on that. Let's transfer this out of the bag very fast just to compare it, uh, to that. Yeah, 44 versus 67. Okay. And it even has, like, a special, uh, effect on it. A spear that raises a sandstorm to blind enemies when used as an item in combat. So, even though it's not really that useful, it would have been better if it, like, did it per hit or whatever. Uh, but it's still better than nothing. I'd rather have the, uh, boomerang equipped right now. But it's nice to have, uh... You know, an upgrade to both of Hero's weapons. His primary weapons. I haven't been using swords yet. I might eventually start to uh, put points into swords. It depends. Okay. Let us zoom over to uh, the Mystical Spring now. And then after that, I will be calling it good. Yeah, I just want to see if there's another scene with uh, the princess over here. It's been a while since I did that. Okay. Here are drinks from the mystical spring. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I spend my days thinking about what I should talk to you about the next time we come to the spring. But there are so many things to share. Sometimes I just don't know where to start. Traveling together is so much fun. But it would be even better if I weren't a horse. Oh, she didn't have much to say that time. Eh, whatever. I, I should have probably visited her when Jessica wasn't in the party. Uh, okay, so I'll go back to Marta's car cottage, and then I'm going to call again. So thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I'm going to be exploring uh, this new little area, this new little region here. Uh, I'm going to open up the map very fast, just to see how much of it I can see. Uh, I think that the area to, the, like, directly south of me is uh, where the, you know, greenery is, you know, I think that that's where I came through the tunnel and then the area off to the left is where I came out of the tunnel so I'm gonna have to go back that way a little bit just to make sure I'm not missing any kind of treasures or anything like that but uh yeah thank you again for watching and the next time I play I'll explore this whole region then I'll go to that town to the north there um so see you next time and bye bye